and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create abstract patterns in seconds. Let us first create a new layer because our result is going to be rendered on it. Color name doesn't really matter, I'll make it white, call it pattern and I'll make sure it's selected in the layers menu right here. Now go to filters, render, fractals and we'll use the fractal explorer. The menu looks a little bit intimidating but it's actually fairly easy to understand. On the left hand side you've got the preview, if you check it you can adjust it with the zoom below. Most important is the fractals right here, you've got some defaults. Just pick one, click on apply and you can see what it looks like by default. You can change its colors right here. So we've got RGB and you can adjust the density for it. And also the color function below. The fractal that you've chosen by default has its certain characteristics, but you could also choose, for example, gradient instead of the colors above. The number of colors, you shouldn't adjust it too much. It gets up to a certain point for each fractal. And if you go too high or too low, you're going to have a single color displayed. So you can still adjust it, but only in a very narrow range. Let's go to the parameters. The fractal type is important. Once again, the fractal that you've chosen right here, it determines the fractal type. And most of the other types, they won't work for this specific fractal. So in this case, for example, it's spider and the other ones won't work. And if we choose, for example, this one, Fragments. We've got Barnsley 1, any other ones wouldn't work that well. But you can adjust the fractal parameters right here and it's going to stretch it or it's going to compress it. Whenever you get lost, it's a good idea to just go back to Fractals and reapply the original. You will get the default parameters back. We also have iterations right here and they add or subtract these colors and in both directions we've got a single color again so it's a narrow range where you can adjust it and finally we can change the aspect of the fractal with a CX and CY and again if you get lost just pick something different, apply it and you can also see for the CX and CY we only have a narrow range for adjustments. If you just want to have an abstract background, the fractals is the most important part. Pick one that you like, apply it, maybe you want to add some minor adjustments, but for the most part you're fine with just clicking on OK and you've got it on your new layer. On this is how you can create these abstract patterns in seconds in I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.